Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wase here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can backup your iPhone or iPad using iTunes using your Windows PC or a Mac. So let's begin the video. Before I begin to show you how you can backup your iPhone, iPad using iTunes, you're going to be asking yourself the question that Wase, why are we going to even do that because we have Apple's iCloud service available. Well, you're right, but there is a downside of that because the iCloud service only gives you 5 GB of free storage. So you can only backup data on the cloud, which is up to 5 GB. If you have any more data, which is in nowadays because of everything we need more storage then in that case either you have to delete some of the files on your iCloud drive or either you have to pay apple the premium to get more storage which is a monthly subscription and you have to pay it uh, every month uh, on the other hand if you're going to use itunes uh, on your laptop or on a macbook you can back up all of your data meaning copy all of your iphone ipad data from that to your laptop's uh, hard disk uh, this is free in the case that all you need is some free storage on your laptop and you can just dump those files and you don't have to pay any premium for these so the reason that you want to back up your iphone or ipad is that if you accidentally lost all of your data of your iphone in some case if it is stolen or if you just broke it then all of the data in your iphone ipad will be lost but if you have a backup on your windows pc or mac then you can restore it even if you lost it or if you have broke your iphone this happened in my case when i had the iphone 6 uh, i had backed up that data on my desktop pc but the iphone 6 had some software issue and it wasn't working at all it was completely dead so when i got my se uh, next iphone which was the iphone 6s then i just simply restored all the data from my desktop pc to my iphone 6s so that was really helpful that i had a backup on my pc anyways guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can do it yourself using itunes i am going to be using a windows pc the process will be same for the mac as well so let's move towards our pc here I am on my PC so the first thing that you need to do is to open any browser on your PC and you need to open this website support.apple.com so I will put this website link in the video description this is the place where you are going to download iTunes so iTunes is basically a software provided by Apple so that you can connect and share files between your iPhone, iPhone iPad and your PC so here you can see it says itunes 12 for windows and windows is 32 bit so if you're downloading for windows you need to check whether you have a 32 or 64 bit window for that just open your file manager here on the left side it's going to say this pc right click on this pc and go to properties here it's going to say system type and here you can see in my case it is a 64 bit operating system so i'm going to download the 64 bit version of itunes if you have a 32 bit you can do so for mac the bit doesn't matter so we are just going to download by pressing the download button i have already downloaded it here is the setup on my desktop so you need to right click on the itunes setup and run it as an administrator press on yes press on next again add itunes to the short talk cut to my desktop if you want to use itunes as default media player for audio files i'm going to uncheck this and automatically update itunes and other software i'm going to uncheck this as well because i want to update them manually whenever i want them and here is the default location if you want to change it you can do so we're going to press on install and now it's just simply going to install itunes on our windows pc which is really really easy okay itunes has been successfully installed on your computer we are going to press on finish and it's going to launch itunes here is a software license agreement you can read it and after that you can press on agree here it is itunes welcome so a pop-up shows a new version of itunes is available would you like to download it i'm going to press on don't download for now if you want to get the latest version of itunes software you can just press on download okay we're going to press on agree from here and it's going to show you something like this so now what you need to do is that you need to connect your iphone or ipad whatever you want with your uh, lightning cable to your pc so that we can backup it so once you're going to connect it it's going to ask for the 
uh, iPhone unlock screen password just type the password to unlock your iPhone iPad and after that press on the trust button here after some time you're going to see this little phone icon on the top left side press on this phone icon here it's going to show you all the details of your iPhone here it's going to show the capacity the iOS version etc etc we are interested in this lower section which says backups here you can see we have an option automatically backup we can back up it to iCloud and we can back up it to this computer so we're going to press on this computer and here you can see it says all backup of your phone will be stored on this computer so it means that each and every file that is available on your iPhone iPad will be copied or backed up on your PC this includes uh, all of your photos pictures contacts messages etc even if you are using whatsapp then all of these chat of all of those whatsapp chats are also being backed up using itunes so each and everything will be backed up so it's a complete backup which is really cool and encrypt local backup this will allow account password health and home kit data to be backed up so if you use apple's uh, i think i don't remember the right name right now i think it was apple keychain where you just you know use your face id or touch id to enter the passwords if you want to use or store them as well just press on this encrypt local backup and just type a password that you remember because when in the future you're going to try to restore it this uh, backup onto your new device you need to enter this particular password whichever you're going to type right now this isn't or should not be or it is not necessary that it should be your lock screen password of your iphone it can be any password but make sure that you remember it because whenever you're going to recover this backup you need to enter this password in the future so make sure that you type a password that you remember in the future as well i am going to type my password right here after that we're going to press on set password and here on the iphone it's going to ask for to enter the lock screen code so i'm going to enter the lock screen code for the iphone and not the one that i typed here after that it's going to automatically start backing up my iphone on windows and here on this you can see latest backup it says your iphone has never been backed up to this computer because i'm going to be backing up this iphone for the first time on this pc so we're just going to wait be until the backup is complete it's going to take some time depending on the size of data that is available on your iphone ipad in my case i think it's around a 70 80 gb or so so we're just going to fast forward the video until it is completed So once the backup is done, you can see here on the latest backup, it's going to show you that on which time and date the last latest backup was done. So guys, in this way, you can backup your iPhone or iPad using iTunes. If you guys like this video, like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, write them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Other than that, thank you for watching and stay safe.